the single largest loss of life for U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Thirty fathers, sons, husbands, and brothers lost their lives in a horrific special operations helicopter crash in Afghanistan's Tangi Valley. Eight brave Afghan soldiers were also killed in the crash. It is believed that the helicopter was downed by a rocket-propelled grenade fired by a Taliban insurgent while it was transporting elite Navy SEALs to the scene of an ongoing firefight. U.S. Army Rangers had been searching for a Taliban leader when they came under fire and a gun battle ensued. The Rangers called for reinforcements and the CH-47 helicopter was shot down while bringing the SEALs into the fight. All week, we have heard story after story focusing on America's most elite special operators, the Navy SEALs. But a 10-year-old boy, Braden Nichols, wanted to know why his father's photo was not included with those we had been seeing all last week. His father was the pilot of the Chinook helicopter. His father was his hero. His father was a member of another elite American unit. His father was a member of the U.S. Army's 158th Aviation Regiment a unit which ferried rangers and seals in and out of harm's way. Of the 30 Americans lost, 17 were Navy SEALs, and 15 of the 17 belonged to the top secret unit that had conducted the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. Of the 13 other American combatants, five were men with particular specialties who regularly worked with the SEALs. The other eight included three Air Force forward air controllers and five Army helicopter crew members, including the pilot of the aircraft, Chief Warrant Officer Brian J. Nichols. Brian always wanted to be a soldier. He enlisted in the military before he had graduated from high school and worked his way up through the ranks until he eventually had the opportunity to pilot the same type of helicopter his father flew in Vietnam, a Chinook. Brian's son, Braden, also dreamed of flying alongside his father one day. Let us honor this boy's remembrance and never forget Chief Warrant Officer Brian J. Nichols, United States Army, an American hero, and never forget the other 29 brave Americans lost in that crash. Thank you for your service to our nation. Lieutenant Commander Seal, Jonas B. Kelso, 32, of Shreveport, Louisiana. Special Warfare Operator Master Chief Petty Officer Seal, Louis J. Langlaise, 44, of Santa Barbara, California. Special Warfare Operator Senior Chief Petty Officer Seal, Thomas A. Ratzlaff, 34, of Green Forest, Arkansas. Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technician, Senior Chief Petty Officer, Expeditionary Warfare Specialist, Freefall Parachutist, Craig M. Vickers, 36 of Kokomo, Hawaii. Special Warfare Operator, Chief Petty Officer, SEAL, Brian R. Bill, 31 of Stamford, Connecticut. Special Warfare Operator, Chief Petty Officer, SEAL, John W. Foz, 31 of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Special Warfare Operator, Chief Petty Officer, SEAL, Kevin A. Houston, 35, of West Hyannisport, Massachusetts. Special Warfare Operator, Chief Petty Officer, SEAL, Matthew D. Mason, 37, of Kansas City, Missouri. Special Warfare Operator, Chief Petty Officer, SEAL, Stephen M. Mills, 35, of Fort Worth, Texas. Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technician, Chief Petty Officer, Expeditionary Warfare Specialist, Freefall Parachutist Diver, Nicholas Null, 30, of Washington, West Virginia. Special Warfare Operator, Chief Petty Officer, SEAL, Robert J. Reeves, 32, of Shreveport, Louisiana. Special Warfare Operator, Chief Petty Officer SEAL, Heath M. Robinson, 34, of Detroit, Michigan. Special Warfare Operator, Petty Officer First Class, SEAL, 
Derek C. Benson, 28, of Angwin, California. Special Warfare Operator, Petty Officer First Class, SEAL Parachutist, Christopher G. Campbell, 36, of Jacksonville, North Carolina. Information Systems Technician, Petty Officer First Class, Expeditionary Warfare Specialist, Free Fall Parachutist, Jared W. Day, 28, of Taylorsville, Utah. Master at Arms, Petty Officer First Class, Expeditionary Warfare Specialist, John Doang Dara, 26, of South Sioux City, Nebraska. Cryptologist Technician, Collection, Petty Officer First Class, Expeditionary Warfare Specialist, Michael J. Strange, 25, of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Special Warfare Operator, Petty Officer First Class, SEAL Enlisted Surface Warfare Specialist, John T. Tummelson, 35, of Rockford, Iowa. Special Warfare Operator, Petty Officer First Class, SEAL Aaron C. Vaughn, 30, of Stewart, Florida. Special Warfare Operator, Petty Officer First Class, SEAL Jason R. Workman, 32, of Blanding, Utah. Special Warfare Operator, Petty Officer First Class, SEAL Jesse D. Pittman, 27, of Ukiah, California. Special Warfare Operator, Petty Officer Second Class, SEAL Nicholas P. Spahar, 24, of St. Paul, Minnesota. Chief Warrant Officer David R. Carter, 47, of Centennial, Colorado. He was assigned to the 2nd Battalion, 135th Aviation Regiment, General Support Aviation Battalion, Aurora, Colorado. Chief Warrant Officer Brian J. Nichols, 31, of Hayes, Kansas. He was assigned to the 7th Battalion, 158th Aviation Regiment. General Support Aviation Battalion, New Century, Kansas. Sergeant Patrick D. Hamburger, 30, of Lincoln, Nebraska. He was assigned to the 2nd Battalion, 135th Aviation Regiment, General Support Aviation Battalion, Grand Island, Nebraska. Sergeant Alexander J. Bennett, 24, of Tacoma, Washington. He was assigned to the 7th Battalion, 158th Aviation Regiment, General Support Aviation Battalion, New Century, Kansas. Specialist Spencer C. Duncan, 21, of Olathe, Kansas. He was assigned to the 7th Battalion, 158th Aviation Regiment, General Support Aviation Battalion, New Century, Kansas. Technical Sergeant John W. Brown, 33 of Tallahassee, Florida. Staff Sergeant Andrew Harvell, 26 of Long Beach, California. And Technical Sergeant Daniel L. Zerby, 28 of York, Pennsylvania. Braden Nichols posted a photo of his father online saying, please don't forget about my dad. Reach out to the children of these men and let them know how much we all appreciate their dedication to our nation. Please let them know we will never forget their dads.